Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. JK here and today we will be continuing our very first city that we started in City Skylines 2. Um, this is JK. Um, we can probably rename our city. Uh, let's rename it as Sagana. Sagana means prosperous. Um, so yeah, since our city is starting to prosper, we have a lot of population moving in and our money we are now on the positive although our people are not happy so they have unreliable health uh, coverage high taxes and I don't think we have an elementary school just yet so we can take a look at everything that we unlock so let's put it at two speed um, so the very first things that I'm looking at are parking lots since I want to start ex uh, investing in parking spaces in our main area so I'm thinking of uh, building towards this side a little bit and then enclosing this mountain small mountain right small hill so I'm thinking of expanding over here and then up to that so at the end I'm hopefully we can fill this out okay so having that expansion I'm, I'm thinking we'll need a parking lot or parking spaces and then what else so a crematorium might also be a big addition since I don't think I want uh, expanding I want to expand our cemetery although we already have a cemetery uh, for our city but in the future I will want to use crematoriums instead of having huge cemeteries like this so that's also one thing uh, what else I am looking at an incinerator plant um, we already have our garbage facility here and I don't want to expand it as well but we'll probably take uh, use our development point for that in the future since we have enough for now and maybe a welfare office you know welfare office is uh, a building that provides assistance to our low-income citizens so they can afford more rent so people would be happier right so maybe that or we could actually um, spend our development points for park on the next unlock so for now what i'm thinking is um we need we are although there are not complaints yet but we will soon need to have a hospital or a small clinic uh, i don't i don't remember if we already have one so we already have a small medical clinic and a small elementary school um what we don't have is a fire station right we don't have a firehouse just yet and we don't have a police station so those are the second things that we will probably invest on but for now what i'm thinking is expanding our road network on this side of the map now this area will we, we might just leave it as a green space uh, in between the city or probably build a big park over here right so we can connect this area but uh, as I mentioned, we might want to just leave this space out as a uh, park center or something like that. Okay, so we'll probably connect this. Uh, so let's do something like that. And then connect this. This connection is not necessary at the moment, but we'll do that. We'll start investing in our road infrastructure and we can start expanding here so the only thing that i don't like is that this doesn't match or this doesn't fit so we'll just do this you know a little bit of uh deviation from the grid is not bad okay so let's do that now these are quite large uh plots of land so maybe we can do something like this okay i think that's still good and then what I want to do is start placing pedestrian paths. So okay, that could be good. And then as well uh, here as well, since we have a huge chunk of land here, so we want that. Uh, what else? So we want some type of connectivity. So what I'm thinking, 
actually uh i want to change things up so i'm sorry if this is um if i change my mind i want to use a fronting road here like that so we will leave this as a non-zoned area but we will start zoning on this side so i like that just to ease traffic on this uh, main road since we already have businesses here and adding more on uh, the right side might um, put a lot of uh, traffic on this main road so I'm thinking just putting a frontal road something like that okay so let's do that um, also we don't want people crossing here so maybe what we would like to do is have some kind of a pedestrian path here so let me show you what I am thinking about so first let's put a pedestrian path maybe something like this okay so let's put an elevated road uh, an elevated pathway to maybe you know what let's put it at five first uh-huh maybe something like that so how many cells is that that's 80 meters so we want to do the same thing over here so let's do this 80 5 meters and then like that you know what the elevation is not necessary <laughs> but i like seeing the elevated path pathways so, so that's better and then i want some type of arcing bridge maybe do we want an arcing bridge something like this i don't know if that's realistic but i like that now we're seeing a lot of traffic here what i'm thinking of is removing the crosswalks we don't want anyone crossing there they can use this but not that then let's just put a stop sign there stop sign here stop sign here stop sign there okay we want everything to just be stop signs for now since a lot of people are moving in our area so that looks good as well as this okay i also want to remove the crosswalk here since we don't want people crossing they can cross here but if they want to go back to their homes they can use our pedestrian bridge okay our pedestrian bridge could also cross towards that area i am as I've, as I've mentioned i want this i uh, will probably convert this into a central park of some sort right so yeah we'll do that in the future but for now we will start expanding um our road network so let's go here all right and then what i'm thinking is uh this end point i'm thinking of following the mountain so let's do maybe a so we really don't want everything to be a grid so what i'm thinking of is that this area will probably be uh, a lot of grids but this side i want it to be a little more organic so after building some grids uh, in the front of uh, this area uh, what i'm thinking of is building some sort of uh, winding can we call it winding roads i'm not sure but what i'm thinking is having a maybe let's add a node to this something like that then let's add a small um roundabout and then this could probably be an entrance to a small like a gated community so i want this that and then i want it to be something like going like that and then oops okay so we got our grand village okay maybe we'll do that and then we want this to branch off as well maybe we can connect this then again we want to extend this 
right? And then draw another type of some type of road like this, right? It doesn't hurt looking at uh, that that looking like uh, messy, but I guess that is that should be the way that, that that is the way that I want it to look. Okay, so it will be a very small gated subdivision. Okay, we have tons of money. Uh, we'll probably start investing in some of our um, infrastructure, our services. We now have access to more industries. But our main focus on this one is zoning out our newly built subdivision. So this will be, a, I would say, a an exclusive subdivision for people with... Uh, higher status in life, maybe. Um, well, that's how it is in the Philippines. Uh, most people in the subdivisions are earning more than the normal people. So what I'm thinking of is uh, having spaced homes. Okay, maybe something like that. That, and then I'll probably try to control the zones a little bit. Um, so we want just smaller homes like that that should work right uh, I'm not sure if that looks okay with everybody um, but yeah let's do some 3 by 3s and then a 4 by 3 now what I want to do is have smaller homes on this type of gated subdivision smaller homes here and there and I don't want any homes on the main road although we already zoned the end of this but the entryway so the entry point here we don't want any um, houses there what I want is probably small businesses in the middle maybe an office of some sort right a homeowners association yeah Okay, where else do we need some zoning? Maybe something like that. Okay, so we have homes here, homes here. I don't want to zone that. Okay, maybe a few more homes here. Yeah, and then here. Okay, we're slowly filling this up, but as I've mentioned, we want this to be spaced a little bit. Uh huh. Okay. All right, I think that looks good for our gated subdivision. It's quite small, as I've mentioned. We won't be expanding this, or we won't be putting a lot of homes here. Uh, I want this to be some uh, kind of a secluded area. Uh, maybe we can put one more here okay i guess that's it right and as i've mentioned i want small businesses to be inside so we want a little bit of like a convenience store right in the entry points like that we definitely don't want a gasoline station there okay I, although that is a man I'll just plop a building. <laughs> uh, at this point, I don't want the building that's spawning. So maybe we can. What we can do is we can plop a building. So let's go to find it. Uh, let's go for buildings. I want a maybe 2 by 3 residential uh, commercial building. So maybe this. Then another one. There's an EU asset. Oh, these are all EU assets. I, per uh, I, I didn't look. So I guess that looks a little okay. Right? Um, yeah, can I, if I can also move this one. I want you to be a little more right there. Yeah, that looks good. And then let's add a little bit more. Let's do a 3x3. Three three. We don't want any... Uh, 
Oops, so I think this is this the same one? This is this that looks like the same one. So let's do that and a two by two. Maybe something like it. Yeah. So that's the entrance of the subdivision. Um, I also want a bigger house. Uh, my thinking is having a bigger house at the front of the building. It could be the office, the main office, right? So what I'm thinking is we can do a small um, medium density house over here. Uh, I don't like that. That's mixed. So I don't want any mixed buildings. Can we do normal buildings? Oh, this is mixed um two by two residential i want a taller building something like this no maybe something more um smaller do we have anything smaller this is high um anything smaller I don't want to use a row home. Yeah, this one, I guess this one will work, right? So that can be like the office of um, the homeowners association or something like that, right? So that could be um, the office of the executive officers of the subdivision. Uh, let's extend this. You know what let's just put something like this then i want a fence so let's do a small we don't have any small residential fences so is an industrial industrial high fence uh, does it look good i don't think so so let's just put a fence like this can we do it can we do a uh, fence mode? Uh huh. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, why is this changing? Uh, is this random? Oh, crap. So <laughs> we want it to be. Uh, we want it to be spaced, but we want it to be connected. I don't like that. Do you have any fence that just can just be like this? Okay. I want to turn on snapping. Yeah, maybe something like this. Yeah, like that. Right? So I'm thinking that is okay. And then... Can we put a small parking lot here? Like that. So that's... What's this? underground okay so that's parking for um the office people although do i want it do i want this this one's larger i think this is okay although i think this is just for motors motorcycle parking lot i don't like that um can i move you with move it uh let's see let's put it here for now what I want is a tiny parking lot. So having the tiny parking lot means that we have to move our fence. Yeah, something like that. And then I want... Well, let's also move the grass. Okay. Alright, so I think... Oops, I don't like that look of that. Let's go over uh, this like this and then create another point yeah something like that then let's just put a concrete uh, concrete surface on this okay i think that looks okay yeah all right, so that will be our um let's lock this and i'm just going to name this as a 
Subdivision Homeowners Association Office. Right? So something like that will do. So that will be the home, uh, the office. And then I actually want to create uh, a gate for this. So what I want is encircle this entire um, place with a road. So we, I want a road around it. Maybe we can connect it to the main area, uh, the main road. So we can do this maybe. I think I don't think that will connect. So let's put this back a bit and then do a curve road. Okay. Something like that. And then I want to complete this. So this is two cells. The frontage road we want two cells here oops we want two cells there and then two cells here okay let's connect and then what i'm thinking is curving this okay finding that point oops i don't think that's good <laughs> uh that's not showing up as uh the way I want it to so I guess I still need to put a straight line here yeah straight road there and then a straight road here like this and then I want to connect that okay um, thinking yeah that looks good that's not perfect <laughs> i uh, has a little bit of oh no 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 i don't like this this might ruin a lot of things so let's redo that um i want a straight road going out and then a curved road curved road here yeah okay that looks a little bit better and we'll probably work up with that like this okay uh, i think that's better we'll leave it at that um but that will be the end of the road and then everything here might be uh, we can probably add a little bit of grid here no uh, what we can do is you know what let's just leave it at that it's going to be a lot of space that we are leaving but i actually like that idea of having some kind of um space where everything is left off okay it's a different color but we'll leave it at that first okay we'll not worry about the color of the gate but this will be um this will be what it looks like um can we also have do we have any props that can look like a guard house so we have like a gazebo small gazebo okay so i had to redo a lot of things since the game crashed um so i had to redo all the roads and stuff also there are a bunch of three trees on the roads that I don't want seeing so I'll have to fix that as well where are those trees I don't think they're appearing right now although or they might be fixed so that's good um yeah so we want to move this because this will be wasted if we don't use this uh, maybe somewhere over here right we can definitely use some parking space here so that's good right now before we finish this area i want to add some amenities to it so let's go for parks i want a small break playground maybe in the deeper uh in the deeper parts of the community right so maybe something over here 
like uh, we want a small playground there uh, what else do we uh, can we add maybe uh, do I want a small plaza so a small plaza could be noisy so I don't think uh, an asset this size would be added here although do I already have sport parks I want sports parks so let's go for sports parks I want a basketball court and a tennis court so definitely uh, I as I've, uh, most of the places I've seen here in the Philippines we have a lot of basketball courts on um, what do you call this uh, subdivisions like this so I think that's very realistic to have two there and then maybe we can have a tennis court over on this on this side although the tennis court is big right um, is there a way we can make this a little smaller no I guess that's the smallest it can go so that uh, I think that's kind of good uh, what I want to do is add a little bit of trees here just to um, reduce the noise coming from the sporting areas especially on this side since that's near a near a home so we definitely don't want any complaints for from the neighborhood um, green bushes I don't want honor uh, keep on so we want maybe some oaks I want a bigger oak let's put anarchy there yeah something like this should work and also in this area we have very little a small home here so I don't think that would be an issue since it's quite far um, we want hickories here maybe a little bit more you know what uh, playing basketball as a young kid I, uh, I always appreciate some form of shade around the park so I think that that's good I think this is good uh, for now right um, we have a small sports complex within the gated community uh, we also have we already have this um, this recreation tool so I want this to be a I, we don't want snapping so I just want this to be called Uh, I want this area to be called the. Uh, oops. Yeah, something like this. I want this to be called the uh, first Sagana village. So that will be called the first Sagana village, the small gated community on this on that side. The closest amenity that they have is the small clinic and the elementary school there but this is definitely the main project of this video the Sagana village so it's a very small uh, place for people to live but it actually I kind of like it right um, I would love to add a lake here in the future maybe some sort of a water feature maybe on this area uh, I don't know if I can do that now I will have to do some tricks here um, can I do that I don't know if um, I want to do that in this episode but I definitely want to do something like a small lake or a small pond of some sort um, you know what let's try that uh, maybe we can do something like that and then I want a stream uh, right click to remove now I don't know what hap uh, what will happen I guess we can still remove um, this uh, 
So the flow rate will be the seasonal streams enabled with flow vary and the season precipitation. Left click within the playable area, hover around. I don't know if this could increase maybe something over up to maybe that side. Oops, I, I don't want that. So that could overflow. Uh, maybe like that. I don't know if that will work. I will have to see. Since I want to create some sort of a pond here. Oh, I forgot to remove the trees. Um, yet. Uh, yeah. So we'll just uh, remove the trees here. I don't know if I can already remove stuff in... Um, what do you call this in batches is there a way to do that let's just move the trees out like that will that work I don't know what's happening yeah I think that worked right so instead of removing everything let's just move them out let's do oops what am I doing wrong? Okay, let's move. Oop. What? I just want the trees to be moved. This over there. Okay. And then this out. Okay, something like that. Okay. Uh, now. I don't know why it's not rising. Um, let's see. This is not removing and this is not producing water for us. So can we do something like that? Yeah. Let's see if that will create the body of water that I want to see. It's a small lake, like a small lake or pond. Okay, let's wait on that. For now, let's leave it at that. Uh, we'll decorate that maybe in the next video, but that will be a project in the future. Um, as I've mentioned, I want to start expanding. Um, so we most of our time were we focused on building the gated community, but actually want to start uh, building more homes so before I do that uh, let's just fix the zoning here I want to maximize the area so I'm thinking of something like this and then maybe that okay and then we'll zone slowly zone things right um, let's put some houses here, here, here. And then... I will probably put some sort of row homes on this side. Right? I don't think that will hurt us in any way. So having homes there is good. Also this way. yeah something like that and then I want more homes okay so as long as that's building up we're good on that uh, now I, I still haven't unlocked the mix housing yet so what I'm thinking is putting more smaller smaller tall buildings here okay maybe like that right and then having few more row homes here. Okay, oops, I don't like what happened here. So let's remove things. Uh, let's do that. Okay. And then I want more commercial spaces here. Yeah. So like this. Now, for this area, we might just cut across. I didn't fix this um, before I started zoning. So maybe putting some something like 
that could give us a little more space for homes. So we definitely don't like that. So let's just zone. Oops, oops. No, 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 no. I mistake. Uh, I did the mistake there. So we want. We only want smaller homes. Okay. So let's remove this. Oh, it's still zoning us. Um, a mixed housing, uh, a row housing. So, yeah, something like that. Now that's that will definitely cause some issues here. So we can probably do a diamond interchange here, right? We can do a this one side and then do another one on this side, maybe. We'll figure that out in the future. Um, we are having an influx of people moving into the city. That's why the traffic is a little too much. So we'll, we'll probably do uh, a new interchange over in this side in the future, right? I think that should ease the traffic of people using this road. So in the future, we might do an interchange here, right? We'll have another arterial road going maybe something like this right we can probably have something like that and then do a small interchange here that people can use to go on and off if they want to use this area so that if people are going here right they can use the interchange and if you are going here or here you can use the straight road ahead so i guess that's for the future right um what else do i need so uh i'm thinking i'm just filling things out here uh, i definitely would like to see more smaller density home uh higher density homes or higher density buildings there right uh, that's kind of big but we'll work with that all right and then let's do some mixed out uh some row homes here and then let's put a little more uh, businesses up front right so over here i want to put parking spaces so a white parking lot could probably work although i uh, that the road curvature is giving me a hard time putting it so let's do that right i think that's okay and then let's put more parking lots maybe something like that oops it's not allowing me to put things there it says overlapping items i don't know why it could be because of the uh, the grass texture that we put so i don't think we can do anything uh with that for now let's see if i can adjust uh the surface um where is that tool okay it's not allowing me to edit the surface huh what can we do I guess we'll just put parking spaces here. Mm, a medium parking lot fits perfectly there. And can we squeeze another one? No, that's a large parking lot. Very large one. Uh, we can probably put a smaller parking there. And then fill this up with uh, residential uh, commercial zones. Then we can put another medium parking. Where is that? Medium parking lot here. And maybe here. And let's put more commercial zones, right? So like that. So that should fill up that space. More row homes here. And then I want a tall building so medium density homes now 
before we move forward with anything i want to put offices uh straight away uh this would boost our economy in the future so i definitely would like to have more offices okay we're unlocking a lot of milestones okay and then i could probably put an office there for now although we'll need that space in the future for uh an expansion so that will be temporary but yeah i guess we can end there um let's just put a grass surface here i definitely would like to see something like uh let's put anarchy on uh we just need surfaces here so what i'm thinking is putting surfaces up to this yeah just like that okay that that doesn't look as good as i'd like it to be so let's put some trees there and some big oaks apple trees and then some lindens okay some pines I'm not the best detailer in the world. I can't do a lot of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I guess we'll end the episode here. As I mentioned at uh, the start, we I wanted to fill this up. Uh, we've made progress with that. We definitely expanded our residential area over here. We have our very first um, closed village or subdivision here. The first Sagana village and then we expanded our homes on this side we also have filled up most of our main road here with medium density housing and offices so i kind of like what we did this episode um this isn't looking the best but this isn't the best looking city but yeah i guess it's really um a beginner friendly one uh this is my very first uh, run again with city skylines 2 after not playing for over what six months five to six months maybe so yeah um if you have any suggestions a uh, negative or positive feedback um please do comment down below i want to improve how I build things, I want to improve on how I view things in building cities and stuff like that. So any feedback would be greatly appreciated. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and do all that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I appreciate every one of you and thank you for watching. See you, take care, bye.